Greetings! Ah, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. And welcome, friends! We are talking about solving inequalities using a couple new steps today, multiplication and division. And you might be like, oh, I get it, you just divide both sides or you multiply both sides and it's gonna be cool. But beware, my friends. Uh, it won't work all normal style all the time, so uh, we're gonna have to be cautious. But notice this, uh, multiplying and dividing, Properties of inequality when c greater than zero. What's another way to describe that? When a number is bigger than zero? What's a word you might throw at that? When a number is bigger than zero, what kind of number is that? Positive. That's right. So when I multiply or divide by a positive, it's saying, right, uh, if I have an inequality, and I'm, I've got a positive number, I could multiply both sides by that positive number, and it will still be inequal, all right, in the same way, right? So if, if A was bigger than B, guess what? A times C is bigger than B times C. True story. Here's some, uh, a numerical example. Is negative 6 less than 8? Yes, Mr. Wadi. Yeah, that's right. And if I multiply both sides by 2, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and 2 times 8 is 16, notice negative 12 is still less than 16. Right, right? Same idea for division. So let's, uh, let's do example uno together. Yeah, it, yes, perfect. Someone just said it seems like exactly the same. Ah, lovely, lovely. It is exactly the same. That's why this chapter is like so nice. It's just like very much rehearsal of our skills that we are still growing in and mastering. And uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, 2.3, that's where we're at today. So it says this, uh, let's solve these two problems. So I've got x divided by 8 is greater than negative 5. What do you think I could do to undo the division by 8? Multiplication. Mo multiply both sides by 8. And according to the multiplication property of inequality, for values of c greater than 0, uh, x is now going to still be greater than uh, negative 40. Bam. Solved it. And let's, uh, let's giraffe this. Let's have a 0 and negative 40 I'll put over here. Uh, and uh, what do you guys think? Open circle, closed circle. Open sesame. And bigger than negative 40 is to the right. Right? Towards the positive x-axis instead of the negative. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that's not that bad. You just multiply both sides, right? Super same O. All right, aha, let's really trick you now, though. Uh, Adriana, how about part B here? If negative 24 is greater than or equal to 3x, how could I get the x? And she answered the question before I even finished. Re uh, I'm trying to, trying to challenge you guys, but I guess not. Let's see, div both sides by 3. And according to the division property of inequality, this will still be greater than or equal to uh, 2x. And let's uh, flip this around, friends. Uh, if negative 8 is greater than or equal to x, that means x is less than or equal to negative 8. Let's, uh, let's giraffe that. 0 and negative 8. And uh, open circle, closed circle. Closed. Yeah, you guys, f feel free to use your awesome highlighters I gave you. If you want to Shade, mm-hmm, yep, bam, I like it, and less than is to the left, less, right, less equals left, if you think about it that way, and then also, as long as your variable's on the side, the left side, then your inequality is like the arrow in the direction that you're shading, all right, so, uh, you guys are super stumped and challenged by these problems, I'm sure, right? Mm, probably not. Okay, but ready for the mix-up? Look out. These ones get 
They get sneaky on you. Not, not a whole lot, though. You're just going to remember this one trick. Now, we just had the property of inequality when I multiply or divide by a positive. But what about when C is less than zero? What's another word for numbers that are less than zero? Negative numbers. So when you hear, this is the big idea, if you hear multiply or divide and negative in the same sentence in the world of inequalities, look out. It says the following. When multiplying or dividing each side of inequality by the same negative number, the direction of the inequality symbol must be reversed. What? Notice what happened. Negative 6 is less than 8. The moment I chose to multiply both sides by a negative, dun, 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 it done flipped it. Flip? What? Yeah, the student was all just like, what the flip? Right, they flipped their inequality. And uh, notice the same thing for division. Here, 6 is greater than negative 8. And then when I multi uh, divide both sides by a negative, flip it. Bop it, twist it, flip it, right? Bam. That's, uh, that, that's literally the only trick. So if you multiply or divide by a negative, you've got to flip the inequality. That's pretty much it. And it says the same thing here algebraically. And it says these properties are also true for less than or equal or greater than or equal to. So all right, so let's get some examples in here, friends. Ooh, this one I actually spaced out a little bit nicer for myself. Ah, uh, thanks, past self. Good old past Waddy helping me out. I like that guy. All right, so. Hmm, example two, part A. Should I choose a card? You guys feel ready? You just felt your heart rate increase, the idea of solving an inequality. Oh, Devin's not here. Okay, I'll be Devin. All right, if I want to solve for y, <coughs> and I'm Devin, normally I say divide both sides, but not today, Junior. Uh, this says divide both sides by negative 3. The inverse would be to multiply both sides by negative 3. Now, i got to be careful. If I write minus 3 here, it looks like I'm subtracting 3. So I could put like multiply by negative three that way. Or if you just write it on the, the left side, it kind of always then looks like multiplication next to parentheses. So watch what happens. Uh, this three would cancel. Those minus signs would cancel. And I just multiply both sides by a neg wait, negative multiply. Wait, there was something special that happens when I do that. What do I need to do? Flip it. Flip that inequality. That less than sign is now a greater than sign. I am sure about that. And uh, tell you what, let's flip it again because I like my variable on the left side. So that's going to be y is less than negative 6. Yeah, yeah, if you want to think about that, right in a different Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's g -raph it 0. Negative six. All right, Cameron, open or closed? Circle. It's a less than sign. Think solid dot or open dot. Open dot because it don't have the equal part. Yep. Less than is to the left. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so this wasn't all that tricky, guys. It's just the only new part was this. Notice it got flipped. What? Crazy. Mr. Waddy, what? Okay, let's see if, if someone else can help me out. Uh, let's see. Draw on the card. Adriana. All right, I let the cards decide. And you were all going to be like Candace Everdeen and be like, no, I'll go. I volunteer. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I chose the tribute randomly. All right, so Adriana, what are your thoughts? 
divide by did you just say divide a negative and wait i think i remember something important yeah i've got to flip flip that inequality so instead of less than or equal now it's a greater than or equal it done got flipped yeah and so y is greater than or equal to negative divided by negative is positive five right so let's graph it uh so zero would be here five would be like to the right of zero yeah that makes sense and uh jimmy do you think closed circle or open circle closed yeah because of the equal fill it in shade in that bubble number two pencil here we go and uh bigger than where do we go friends to the right i like it okay yeah so uh so this is the only new thing solving inequalities is nearly identical to solving equations except except when you multiply or divide by negative numbers this is the only difference right otherwise we do all of the same o same o stuff and so it's like we just get to practice our old skills all over again let's uh let's see here let's have you guys try oh, mm, eh. yeah let's have you guys try these monitoring progress questions right here five six seven eight nine ten we'll do all of them super rapid though so i'll have our internet friends follow along at home for a minute and you guys Give these a try. Let's see. I'm going to give myself some some number lines. I don't even know. I should number my pages eventually, huh? So... <coughs> All right, so uh, some of my friends in real life are going to be trying these problems real quick. You can hang out.
don't know what I did. I did it the wrong Internet friends, I'm going to do five and eight for you real quick. Uh, let's see, where is my, there we are. Uh, so dividing is the operation. That minus is not subtracting. Uh, that's the sign of the four. So dividing by negative four, the inverse would be to multiply both sides by negative four. So that's what I would done do. And I'll have uh, P and, oh, flip it. Flip that inequality. Ba bam And negative uh, 4 times 7 is negative 28. Yeah, so the inverse was the multiplication. Yep. And then uh, 0, negative 28. And shading would have been open circle and greater than is to the right. Question? Only if you multiply or divide by a negative. So this is the thing that told me to flip it. All right, so if I multiply or divide by a positive number, it would have stayed the same. All right, and uh, I'll do question eight here as well. Uh, so it's being multiplied by negative nine. The inverse would be divide by negative nine. And so I'll have M is greater than negative seven. Oh, wait a minute. I divided by a negative. Oh, I got to flip it. Flip it. I know, I know. So M is less than negative seven. I, I flipped it. Zero, negative seven. This would have been an open circle shaded to the left. So if you, if you forget to flip it, uh, your solutions would have been everything in the other direction and you would have been wrong. So the trick is when you multiply or divide by a negative, you flip it. So if you guys try a couple more and then I'll move on. All right, let's see. Let's look at the cards. I'm going to have uh, Jimmy, you're going to tell us how you did six. Booja, you'll tell us how you did seven. Ooh. Well, let's see. Jimmy first. Jimmy first. All right, Jimmy, what do I do for six? The 
what's the opposite of dividing? So multiply both sides by negative 5. Right? And if you want to write it on this side, you got to make sure it looks like multiplication and not subtraction. And then uh, what happens here? Uh, the fives and the minus. Yeah, so that's just x. Negative times negative is positive 25. Flip that inequality. That's right. Flip it. I like it. All right. Let's see. I think, I, I think I'm just going to take time to do 9 real quick, and we'll have uh, Pooja do a 9 for us, if that's okay. Uh, this would have been then a closed circle, and shaded a greater would be to the right. Devin, you, with them, you should try these problems, Devin. El más fácil del mundo. All right, let's see. Number nine, uh, Pooja. Okay, you bow out. You tag team Amity. Bam. I just heard divide and negative in the same sentence. Hmm. All right, flip that inequality. R is less than or equal to 11. All right, so 0, 11. Negative divided by negative becomes positive. Yep. And let's see. Shade to the left. Okay, let's... Uh, I think I've got like a word problem or something for us to do. I should probably show you how to do that, right? Oh, example three. Oh, look at this person. She's using a camera. Wow, remember when cameras... Didn't have the ability of calling our friends and tweeting 140 characters. Look at that person. Bam. You earn $9.50 an hour at your summer job. Write and solve an inequality that represents the number of hours you need to work to buy a digital camera that costs $247. Okay, so uh, what is the question this is asking? What is the the unknown thing that I'm trying to find? The right, I want the numbers of hours needed to work. So that's going to be my variable. We'll call that h is equal to hours needed to work. Okay, and that we already described it as h, but its its units of measure are in the time for us. Uh, let's write an inequality here. All right, let's see. All right. So if the camera costs $247, that means I have to earn at least, right? It doesn't say it here, but just in the way that we understand money, people usually don't buy, let you buy things from them unless you have at least that amount of money. And at least is what type of inequality? Yeah, I need to have monies that is greater than or equal to 247. And it says that she earns, or you earn. Oh, it's me. I'm earning 9.50 an hour this summer. Sweet. 9.50 per hour. So 9.50 per hour, it is. It's example three. Is the same as 9.5. And per hour, what do you think I'm going to do with the variable H here? You take the amount you earn and you multiply by the number of hours you work. How that, how that works. So if I want to solve this, how do I get H by itself? The inverse of multiplication is division. And let's see, I'm dividing both sides. Let's see, let's be careful. Do I have to flip it? Good save, man. Awesome. They said no, and why did you all say no? 
because I'm dividing by a positive. I like it. And uh, 247 divided by 9.5, doing this in my head as my brain is looking at the answer, is 26. So here's my answer. Let's uh, write that with words. What does this mean? If I combine the solution and the definition of the variable, what would you say? You, I like it. You need to work at least 26 hours, right? And if you just work like crazy and you do 50 hours of work, you can still buy that camera, friend. All right, thanks for watching.